Okay, so we are going to do our beginner lesson um, for creating Frida Kahlo's favorite parrot, Bonito. And our supplies today are construction paper and oil pastels. And you can use any color construction paper that you have. It doesn't have to be blue. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna use my black oil pastel, but you could use a different color if you'd like. I'm gonna start with the right side of my paper and I'm gonna place my hand here and I'm going to just draw a dot. And once I have my dot, I'm going to draw a circle around that to create the eye. Then I'm gonna place my thumb and put a dot sort of out and down from the eye. So place your thumb there and just place a dot right, right by your thumb. And that will be the point of our beak. You're going to then draw a curved line right under the eye and another curved line coming to that point and just past and another curved line there to create the beak with one more line in the middle. So from there, we're gonna draw the head and you're going to start with the, this point of the beak and you're gonna come up over the eye and down to about here. Then on this side, you're gonna create another curved line that's kind of like the letter S, and you're gonna come in and down to create the chest of the bird and stop where you think the feet might be. So to create the wings, or the wing, we are going to do an upside down teardrop shape from this point where we stopped and you're going to do a curved line out and down to a point and then another curved line that comes down to a point I'm just kind of following my lines just to create a little bit more roundness here so now we're going to create the tail and the tail will be long u shapes and just underneath the wing you're going to come down and if you don't have enough space and you leave the edge of your paper that's okay i'm going to make a long u shape and come back up i'm going to do another one that just follows right beside it and comes back up and then one more, a little bit shorter. There. So there's our tail. Now we're going to create the branch that the bird is perched on. So we're gonna start at the left side of our paper and we're gonna make a curved line that comes in up to the bottom of the tail and follow that same curve over that way. You're gonna imagine there's a line coming through here and pick up on the other side. Don't color through the tail, but just imagine that line and start on the other side and go out to the edge of your right side of your paper. And follow that same line coming over here. For the feet, we're gonna do two curved C's, backward C's, I'm sorry. So backward C backward C. And there's your feet. Now we can start adding some color to our bird. So I'm going to start with, let's see, I'll do some gray. And I'm just going to follow these curves of my wing. And you notice how when I go over the black, it just not just blends on its own so you could blend in that way and you can also use your finger these pastels are great because they're like using paints but you just have a little more control 
I'm going to follow that curve in the tail feathers all around here. Oops, I went outside that a little bit and that's okay. If you'd like to add some little feathers coming up off the head, you can do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some color. Now, right now I just have some gray and black. I'm gonna add some, some dark blue. Just color that in, color in the tail, and again in the body. And see I'm layering over the gray and it's creating this sort of light, light blue color. Actually, I think I'll just color it all in blue right here. The harder you press, the more vibrant your colors will be. The darker, more pigment you'll see. Okay. I think I'll, I'll add some yellow in here. I'm just using lines to create texture and blending in these colors. Add some in the tail. Maybe I'll add a little bit of red in here. Again, using lines. Thinking about feathers and how to create that texture with your pastels. Just layering, using different colors. I'm gonna add a little bit of white in the eye. And also in the body. Get some more, some lighter colors. Okay, now we'll do the beak. Use some orange. For my beak here, add a little bit of white in there just for some highlight. Okay, so now we're going to color in our branch and we're just going to start with, this is kind of an orangey brown. You can use whatever color brown you would like. I'm going to just lightly color it in and then we'll add some lines for texture. I use uh, maybe this sort of mustard color. Again, remember Frida used very uh, bright colors. She loved using um, very vibrant colors and lots of texture and things in her paintings. So now we'll start um, adding some leaves. So I'm just going to do a, a short line up, coming up from the branch and then two curved lines to form a leaf. So I'm going to do a curve that comes to a point. And then from that point, do another curve down. And then I'll do another curved line up. Ooh, that's a long leaf. And then another curved line to come to the point. I'm gonna do one over here and get a line and then a curve to a point and another curve to a point. I'm just gonna color those in with my bright green. And you can use whatever green you would like or whatever colors. I 
Okay, there's, oops, I kind of went off my paper, that's okay. I'm gonna fill this in and then we're gonna add some more color for texture and depth. You can still see some of my blue, which is okay, or you can fill it all in, whatever you would like to do. So now I'm going to take my green, and I'm going to sort of outline these leaves in this green, just like that. And again, make some lines to create some texture within the leaf. I'll do that to the other side. Follow those curved lines. You can add flowers if you would like, or di your leaves can be different shapes. I'm gonna add a little bit of white here to show more texture. But this is where you can be really creative and add what you would like to, to your drawing. Okay, and there we have our parrot. Don't forget to sign your work in the bottom corner and put your initials and E. And there we have our, our Frida Kahlo inspired parrot. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And if you have the time, um, look at the slideshow if you haven't already to learn more about our wonderful artist and her life and see some of her work. Thank you for watching.